desktop and managing uh, students in your classroom using remote desktop. Uh, what we're going to do this time is create a list of our students. So I'm going to actually open up remote desktop. I put it in my doc in the last video. If you want to go back and watch that one, you can see how to do that. But here we have our scanners running again using the Bonjour network, which is uh, the Apple's uh, communication network there. And we'll see I've got two computers that I've already attached to before. I've connected to them and they have little blue lights by them. That means they're available now. Just to check, I can actually click on them and double click. And we go to observe mode and we'll see that we have our two computers, our iMac and a Mac Mini that I actually have here in my office. Close that up. Now, let's imagine that you want to uh, create a group of computers so that you can observe all of them at a single time. Say you have a first period class and you want to uh, observe all of those computers. What we actually want to do in remote desktop is create a list. So we'll go to the bottom left hand corner of the remote desktop window. We'll click and we'll see we can create new list. Now we want to name that list accordingly, so I'll say first period. So under first period, you'll see I have no computers listed. If I go back to the scanner, I will find the computers that I want. And so let's say just the mini computer is actually in first period. So I'll drag that over to the first period list and drop it. Now when I go to first period, you'll see the hurt mini uh, shows up in that list. Let's go back to the scanner and we'll see these two are actually available, but in first period, only the mini shows up because I dragged it into that list. Let's create a second period class. And let's say in second period, both of the computers are actually in there. So we're going to click on scanner. We'll see that there are both of the computers. We can drag them over into second period. And then there we have them in the list. Now let's suppose that we need to remove a student from the list. Maybe they changed class periods or they're not taking my class anymore. So I could actually highlight that computer in the list. So I'll select the list, highlight the computer I want to get rid of, and hit delete and it will take them out of the list. You can see that if you have a classroom that's got 20 or 30 students in it, under the scanner, you can see them as they show up on the network. You could highlight as many as you needed to, and then you can drag them over into the period that you've created for them. That's how you create a list.